Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I wanna walk you through five steps to create great video content, and also how you can get better in front of the camera. If this is your first time recording a video, or maybe you've recorded a lot of videos, uh, the camera can be really intimidating. And if you're in front of the camera for the first time, you're staring at the lens, just trying to figure out what to say, am I prepared, you're fumbling, and you kind of move into this whole different persona. Well, I'm gonna walk you through these five steps that I think will make recording either your first video or your next video much, much, much easier. So step number one is use bullets, not a script. Now, I know some people who wanna have everything scripted for me, from personal experience, I did this uh, the first time. It's kind of a horror story. So we rented this professional studio. It was in the PBS studios, like the station. We go down there. Our scripts weren't good enough. So I remember spending two days recording these horrible videos for this video course that we were working on. It was this the most humiliating and embarrassing thing in my life. Because number one, uh, there was two of us, and it's really hard to record videos with two people on camera. So we didn't know when to swap back and forth between each other and then also our scripts weren't good because we hadn't created them well and we hadn't rehearsed them. So if you try to script things out, what'll happen a lot of times is you end up writing things or typing things and that's not how you would say them. So then when I'm trying to read a teleprompter right in front of the camera, I'm fumbling through that, we're having to back up, fast forward, and I'm so focused on reading those things right that I'm not focused on recording a great video. So for me personally, what I've found over time is that we've ditched the script and I go with bullets. So for every video that I do, including this one, uh, I'll have three to five, maybe seven at the most bullets. And I'm not going very detailed with those bullets. It's big picture ideas. Now what's really important here, it's kind of like uh, flying a plane. You need to know your takeoff and you need to know your landing <laughs> and everything else in between then uh, is, is kind of just, you know, you're, you're doing your, your route, right? So for me, I, I know how I'm gonna introduce the video and I know how I'm gonna land the video because if I don't know this part, then I've had this happen where I'm just stalling and it's like you're circling the airport, <laughs> right? You're just, you just keep saying the same thing over and over again because you can't figure out how to end the video. So I have a, a similar intro that I do and a similar outro that I do and now everything else in between, uh, I can do that. Now, uh, last thing on point number one is if you have other people assigning you to record videos, like I have people on my team oftentimes assigning me videos, I'm very explicit that I just need bullets, don't give me a script. Because I've had people, and this happens often trying to be helpful, they give me a two page script of exactly what they want me to say, and it's actually not helpful at all, because now I'm trying to memorize all these different things and lines and the way they want me to say it, and the video is not that great. So that's number one. Number two, pretend the camera lens is a person's face. Now it really helps actually if the person who's recording uh, your video is right behind the camera lens because then you can just pretend that you're talking to them. Uh, but if they're not, and whether you're recording from your laptop, your computer, or a camera, I like to look at the camera and pretend that it's someone engaged with me, leaning forward, looking me in the eyes and kind of nodding and agreeing what I, with what I'm saying. And now in doing that, I'm talking person to person, not person to camera lens. So this really, really, really helps uh, me to kind of just be more personable in my videos. Number three, be yourself. Don't try to be this on-camera persona. Now this is something early on I really struggle with. It's like you get in front of the camera, the lights come on and you feel like you have to be this larger than life person. Well, as a result, I felt stiff. It felt scripted and the people who knew me well, they said, Chandler, this isn't you. <laughs> like this is not how you would talk to me explaining this exact same thing. So I tried to say, hey, how would I just have a person to person conversation, channel that <laughs> uh, and not try to you know, use a big voice or channel Billy Mays or any of those things. Uh, and now I'm able to just talk to the camera. Number four, if you're recording a lot of videos at one time, I like to batch my videos. It's how I get a whole lot more videos done. And it also helps me get into the flow. If you're doing that, it's very important that you put some easy wins first. <laughs> so in a day like today, when I'm recording 25 videos, the first two, three, four videos, I want it to be easy wins. I want it to be a story that I've told a thousand times. I want it to be a short three minute video, something with bullet points. I want to get wins and get momentum so I can keep moving through the videos. And number five, work with someone that makes you feel comfortable. 
This is extremely important. I've worked with some great people doing videos. I've worked with some horrible people doing videos. And the best people know how to create an environment where you feel comfortable, right? So whether it's the environment, whether it's the temperature, uh, it's the positive affirmation, oftentimes between cuts, because there's nothing more frustrating uh, than screwing something up and you're pissed off and then you don't have someone that's like, hey, it's okay, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one, no worries. And so you want someone who's just gonna reduce the pressure, create a great environment and make you feel comfortable. So I've worked with Liam and his team over at Penwood Pitchers and they're really good at just creating an environment and being even keeled throughout the day, making sure that I have what I need, making sure that we're moving quickly, that we have momentum. And most importantly, uh, he's nodding while I'm creating videos, uh, you know, kind of, and that helps because I see, oh wow, this is, this is actually good, <laughs> right? Because the camera's not nodding at me, but Liam's behind the camera nodding at me. So it's, it's little things and small touches like that that make a huge difference because like I said, I've had people who, they just don't do that. They don't know, know, know how to make you comfortable. Uh, and especially if this is one of your first videos that you're recording, you're gonna screw up a lot and you're gonna feel frustrated in yourself. Your, your confidence is probably gonna go down about 10 notches and you need someone there that's gonna help you through that and it's gonna support you through that. So let's recap what we've learned, the five steps to creating great video content. Number one, use bullet points, not a script. Number two, pretend the camera lens is a person's face. Number three, be yourself. Don't try to have an on-camera persona. Uh, number four, if you're recording a lot of videos, make sure that you structure them for early wins so that you can get momentum in the first part of the day. And then number five, make sure that you're working with someone who makes you feel comfortable. So that's it. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Comment below. What do you do to record great videos or what was your biggest takeaway from this video? Comment below, let me know, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Talk soon.